Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. So for today, I wanted to tell you about a specific form of B12 that is even more active than well-known B12 preparations like cyanocobalamin and methylcobalamin. It's called dibencozide, and it's also known as adenosylcobalamin, or coenzymated B12. And dibencozide offers specific protective benefits that other well-known preparations of B12 do not, specifically in the brains of older people. Vitamin B12 is required for proper red blood cell development, nerve function, and DNA proliferation. We find B12 primarily in animal-based foods like meat, fish, poultry, eggs, and dairy, and because of this, daily B12 supplementation is critical for vegans and vegetarians. As we grow older, our ability to absorb B12 declines rapidly, and this is why B12 deficiency is common with older adults. Typical symptoms of a B12 deficiency include anemia, weakness, and fatigue, and prolonged B12 deficiency can lead to something even worse. Consistently low blood levels of B12 can lead to a shrinkage of the brain as we age, and this particularly is where dibencozide is so beneficial. Dibencozide can protect delicate brain neurons from degeneration and the loss of the critical neurotransmitter dopamine. And this is a benefit that well-known B12 preparations like cyanocobalamin and methylcobalamin cannot provide. This is especially beneficial for people over the age of 50 who face an increased risk of developing Parkinson's disease. And as many of you know, common symptoms of Parkinson's include loss of coordination, tremors, balance, movement difficulty, and even dementia. B12 is utilized as either methylcobalamin or dibencozide. While methylcobalamin is active only in the cytosol, or the liquid, of the body's cells, dibencozide is active in the mitochondria, which are the energy furnaces that power all of our cells. This is what makes dibencozide so much more active than any other B12 preparation. In fact, dibencozide is the primary form of B12 found in our tissues, and yet it's also conspicuously absent from most B12 formulations. While methylcobalamin is certainly the better known form of B12, dibencozide will likely give you better physiological results, which means you'll likely feel the famous B12 energy boost much more broadly with dibencozide. And this is actually how I came across dibencozide, because for many years I never understood why people said take B12 for energy, because every B12 preparation I ever tried never once gave me any kind of energy. I even tried a transdermal B12 gel on my skin, and even that didn't work. Dibencozide has been consistently, to this day, the only form of B12 that I can feel the energy from. Ideally, you should look for a B12 product that combines both dibencozide and methylcobalamin. While the dibencozide form is certainly better, it shouldn't replace methylcobalamin, as methylcobalamin is active in the central nervous system and is essential to cellular growth and replication. As for a dose, try to take around 500 micrograms of dibencozide and methylcobalamin each daily for optimal support, especially if you're vegan or vegetarian. Lastly, even though many B12 supplements are sublingual, which means they absorb under the tongue, you do need to ensure you have sufficient stomach acid production, as this is a required intrinsic factor for B12 absorption. And so for this, a betaine hydrochloride supplement taken just before meals can usually help out. So try dibencozide for the health and function of your brain, and think of it this way. To be smart, B12. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.